How's everyone doing? We're going to do a GeoGuessr quiz that I found on Reddit. I think this might be interesting. It's Netflix locations, where Netflix shows are set. Now, the Reddit thread didn't make it clear if this is about where the shows are set or where they're filmed. I imagine we'll find out once the first round starts, so let's give it a go. And I can tell you now, this looks like Ozark. But, are we in the Ozark Mountains of Missouri, where the show takes place? Or are we in Georgia, where the show is filmed? That is the question. Let's scroll around and see if we can't find a flag, a license plate, something. That is somewhat what Missouri plates look like, although I can't say for certain. Although, mountains are a little higher than what you're going to find in the Ozarks. So this could very well be Georgia where the show is filmed. Let's keep scrolling around see what we can figure out here. I think what's going to help us more than anything is the flag. And I don't know what the Georgia flag looks like, but I do know what the Missouri flag looks like since I live here. So we will... Try to figure it out. Steelhead Road. The problem with these extremely rural locations is that you could be hundreds of miles from the nearest city. Well, not hundreds, but you know what I mean. From the nearest city and not know which direction you have to go to find it. You can go down these dirt roads and wind up being deeper into it than you were when you started. I'm disinclined to say this is Missouri though. Very much disinclined to say this is Missouri. Much higher, yeah this is definitely not Missouri. Much higher mountains than you're gonna find in Missouri. So I'm guessing we're in Georgia where the show is filmed. So let's see if we can't find a town, a burg, settlement, a hamlet. My god, five dollars a gallon for gas? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, Sons of Anarchy wasn't a Netflix series. I was thinking we might be in California, but no. When was gas ever five dollars a gallon in Georgia? Jeez. Where's this guy going? a hobo with his bindle. Well, this road is taking us somewhere. I don't know where, but it's taking us somewhere. This bridge might help us. Especially if it's going over a river. If it's just going over a gully or a ditch, it's not going to help. River road. Well, maybe it is a river by golly. But what river? I don't think this is Georgia either. Eh. No, I don't think it is. So now I'm trying to think of a Netflix show. It takes place in the mountains in the west. And I fear that I'm not going to come up with anything. Road narrows. Uh, well, we want the road to widen.
about all I can say for certain is that we're getting nowhere fast. And I didn't set a time limit, but I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I did, and that it's seven and a half minutes, so we've got about two minutes to go. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Back down, back down, back down, back down. Narrow bridge. They weren't kidding, were they? A stop sign. Proceed one clear. Are they doing road work that day? minute left well even though I'm almost certain this is not Georgia lacking a better idea I'm gonna go with Georgia because I don't know what else to do so we will see if we can't find our spot where we can put our marker. Let's try there. Ugh, oh, completely wrong. Completely, completely wrong. Where is this place? Alder Point, California. What Netflix show is filmed in or takes place in Alder Point, California? Could not tell you. Where's this place? This looks very central California. Fresno, perhaps. Vassar in Phoenix. Could we be in Phoenix? I don't think we're in Phoenix, but I could very well be wrong. And since I don't know what Arizona plates look like, However, this school bus depot might be an indicator. Well, is, looky there, is this a post office? No. Johnstone Supply. Anyway, school bus depot. Does it say the name of the school district? Some American school buses do say the name of the school district. Just as many of them just have the name of the contractor. Albuquerque Public Schools. Albuquerque. Breaking Bad. Okay. So now the thing is, I could look around Albuquerque all day and still not find out where the school bus depot is. I'm going to put us there just as a starting point while I try to find a more main drag. So Vassar and Phoenix is where we started. Desert Paper and Envelope Company. That's helpful. Writing that down too. Might just appear on the map. What's this street here? Phoenix and not helpful. Phoenix and Girard. Okay. We are in a desolate industrial part of Albuquerque. Although really, isn't all of Albuquerque a desolate and industrial part of Albuquerque? I could find a high perch and see downtown, I could at least try to figure out where we are in relation to downtown.
Aztec. Okay, we have a few street names to go on. We got Aztec, Vess, Vassar, Phoenix, Gerard. Let's see if we can't find some of those around here. Uh, no, a little too ambitious. And you can't make a left turn on this street, so let's make a right and see if it takes us somewhere. Oh, here we go. Are we getting on to an interstate highway? Is this an on-ramp for an interstate highway? If it is, then it's going to help us bigly. to get here so we're east of wherever this place is whatever the center state is Let's see if we can't hop over there yeah yeah we can all right Montgomery Jefferson and San Mateo is 25 the main inner north south drag through albuquerque looks like it is okay montgomery jefferson san mateo There's Aztec Road. I thought we weren't too far from Aztec Road, weren't we? And there's Vassar, and there's Gerard. Okay, we're getting there. Okay. So now I just need to find the bus depot or the paper company. go back to the beginning and we were at the intersection of Vassar and Phoenix okay so there's Aztec there's Vassar so we need to find Vassar and Phoenix Vassar and Phoenix. Okay, let's see if we can't get right on top of it. Again, just holding our place there while I try to figure out exactly where we are. Okay, All right, so we are just a little bit south of the stop sign on Vassar. All right, there. 10 meters, 5,000 points. Was that better than that? Dismal first round? Yeah, it was. Where's this place? Gives me a Riverdale vibe, but Riverdale is a fictitious place. I thought for a minute we might have seen a church. This kind of has a Massachusetts, kind of Pennsylvania, kind of East Coast look to it, but that's just a hunch. Fairbanks and Mott, okay. Fairbanks and Mott. Well, which way is the heart of town? Is it uphill or downhill? Oh, there's a river and there's a city. Is this perhaps Pittsburgh, possibly? Uh, is that the Oakland Bay Bridge? No. Oh, this is Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has a big yellow bridge like that, doesn't it? I 
Can we get up on top of that bridge? No. Nine oh two. Where's the nine oh two area code? I don't know. But what I do know is that if I can get up on top of that bridge, get into the heart of the city, I just might be able to get a read on where we are. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Thought for a minute I saw the name of a school, but I was wrong. the wrong place. Not unlike that. What's the name of that funk band from California? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Not unlike that Red Hot Chili Peppers song, we are under the bridge. And I want to be on the bridge. East Coast White Rum. Pittsburgh is not an East Coast city. It's an Eastern city, but it's not an East Coast city. HHB shuttle bus. Well, darn. Thought it might tell us the name of the city. Get onto the bridge. Come on, get onto that bridge. Toll Bridge, Mac Pass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, that's a Canadian flag. We're in Canada. Definitely not Pittsburgh. Mac, Mac Pass. What does Mac mean? And more importantly, what Netflix show takes place in Canada? NSApprenticeship.ca, Nova Scotia. Is this Halifax? My Netflix show takes place in Halifax. More importantly for my needs, where the hell is Halifax? Come on, where is it? How am I not finding Halifax, Nova Scotia? Ecom Seacom. That is a great name for a town, Canada. Yet somehow I still can't find Halifax. bridge. It was in Dartmouth, 137 miles away. Where is this place? Something of great importance there. It's blurred out. A brick wall. New Beginnings Church. I need a new beginning on this game. I am tanking. What's this place here? Post office? Somewhere City Hall. Monotowoc? Monktowoc? Ooh. 
ok not helpful because I don't fully know the name of the town uh, definitely in the United States and I should recognize that flag but I don't wait a minute no still don't there's a Montauk in New Jersey this does not look like New Jersey okay we are at 9th and Quay Shades of Paradise Tanning Resort, 920. I don't know where area code 920 is. And apparently we're in a town called Monotowoc or something to that effect. But where? Manitowoc. Wisconsin. Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Okay, now the next question is, where is Manitowoc, Wisconsin? Since we can find it, all we gotta do is find 9th and Quay. There it is, Manitowoc, Wisconsin. What Netflix show takes place in Manitowoc, Wisconsin? Let me know in the comments. There's 9th, Manitowoc Public Utilities. I think what we're going to do here is go to where 9th dead ends and just go up the street until we find it. Quay. 9th and Quay. And what's going to help us a lot is that we can find the city hall. Manitowoc County Courthouse, J. Quay. There it is, Manitowoc, 9th and Quay. Right, but we weren't specifically at 9th and Quay, were we? We were near it. Okay, we're going east, so we are a little bit. west of 9th Street, a little bit west of 9th Street on Quay. So right about there, 45 meters, no, still 5,000 points, I'll take it. Last round, maybe, okay, Osage Beach Parkway. Uh, we are almost certainly in Ozark territory now. Unless I am completely wrong and we're in Florida, but this is far too hilly to be Florida. Business 54, yep. We are definitely in Missouri, Passover. So we're in one of the Lake of the Ozarks towns in Missouri. Probably Osage Beach, which is about a two hour drive from my home. Osage Beach, 54. And where'd we say 54 and Passover? Osage Beach Parkway and Passover. A lot of Jews in Osage Beach, Missouri, celebrating Passover. What's the name of this hotel here? Days Inn and Suites, okay. Well, other than being slightly wrong on the uh, orientation, 5,000 points. Well, apart from that bummer of a first round, I did pretty well there. All right, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.